Hey guys, I just wanted to pop on here and do like a quick follow-up to yesterday's video because I learned a lot and it was really intense. Um, if you haven't seen it, I'll link it down below. It was a shadow work reading. Basically, it was a pick a card looking at, you know, what your shadow is trying to show you. And um, I mean, the three, the three readings I did were pretty intense. <laughs> and, uh, you know, and I was wondering what was going to happen to, to me actually before I did the reading because you know whenever I do a reading it doesn't matter if it's for one person or for a group of people um, I basically take that energy into myself and run it through my system and process it and release it and I mean you know I'm I know lots and lots of people do that that's not um, unusual or anything right but I know we all like sense and process different people's energies in different ways and that's just that's how it works for me. So I was wondering how, how I was going to feel after kind of processing and experiencing the shadow energy of all the people who ever see that video, right? And um, I was feeling pretty good. Then I went to bed. Nightmares. Nightmares. Like <laughs> the worst, the worst, like the, the most intense nightmare I've ever had. And I don't, like I had, I had bad nightmares a lot when I was younger, but I don't really have nightmares that much anymore. But last night, nightmare was very special. It didn't, you know, it wasn't just a dream. It was like a full blown astral experience. And I was in a, in like a dark dingy hallway, like an old abandoned apartment type of hallway. And I, it was like a fun house, like a Halloween fun house. And every time I had to go into a new room, hold on, I was trying to hold my tea because my uh, finger, my hands are really cold, but <laughs> We'll put it down. That's not, I'm going to spill it everywhere. <laughs> I'm going to spill the tea on myself. Um, so I had, in the dream, I kept going into different rooms of this apartment. And every time I went into the room, I would have a few moments of going, okay, I have, this is when I'm going to experience the terror. This is when I'm going to experience the horror and the fear. And it wasn't, there wasn't really any like thing, any plot to the nightmare except for going into the room and then it was almost as if my consciousness was like stuck into a nightmare machine where I was just like experiencing the pure distillation of fear, horror and terror and pain and panic and it was just feeling. It was like the dream. I mean I kind of saw like swirls of colors and stuff and I heard you know unpleasant noises but it was really just the, this intense energetic experience of like feelings feelings and um i've had dreams like that before but they've always really been really pleasant feelings <laughs> um not typically like fear and horror and then i would wake up and i would roll over and i'd be like damn like this that dream and then i fell back asleep and it was over and over and over again this kept happening <laughs> um just having that extreme like concentration of shadow energy like being experienced on the level of consciousness over and over and over again and uh, I mean it was fine like I finally when I finally made it out of bed you know I got up and everything was fine <laughs> and uh but I was wondering like like what was that about right what was that really about it was more because I didn't really feel like, oh, you know, poor me, I did the reading and then I was like subjected to all of this shadow energy. It didn't feel like that at all. I felt pretty okay about it. Um, and now I feel pretty good about it. <laughs> I just, I felt more like, like I understood that there was some kind of purpose. Like there was a purpose to experiencing the pain, horror, terror, fear, all of that. I felt, I really just had the sensation that there was a purpose to it. And all day while I was feeling into this, I kept seeing, like, being shown this, like, gnarled knot, like a gnarled knot. Just imagine a knot, but it's like a really big, big knot, but instead of made out of string, it was like strings of energy, and all of those strings of energy all tied up in this horrible, giant, like, quantum knot are, like, all of our, all of our pains, all of our fears, all of our traumas, all of our horrors and terrors, all of it, all tied up in this knot, um, but then from what I was being shown, it was like every time one of us, anytime anyone in a, in a physical body, so not just humans, but like anybody on any planet, <laughs> like manages to like face a fear, see it, understand it, and then the trick is to release it, right? <laughs> to fully release it, to experience forgiveness if that's required, and then release it. Um, 
the the knot, the ball of fear, the ball of pain, anxiety, trauma, stress, horror, all of the the ball of shadow energy shrinks. It kept showing me every time every time you do this, it shrinks, it shrinks, it shrinks. So that's what you know humans are doing. We are shrinking the ball of terror. <laughs> we are shrinking the shadow literally by facing our fears and releasing the shadow energy. That's essentially like, so shadow work, yes, it's, it is about your own, own facing your own fears and your own, you know, baggage and issues. But even that is in service to like the whole universe. <laughs> so it's like, why did you, why did we all have to take on all of this pain and trauma and suffering to begin with? It's, it's in service to a greater purpose. Like I just, it's hard to describe that's what I experienced. And that's what I wanted to come on here, on here to say, because I had like the, literally the most intense nightmare of my life. And I, and I just woke up with this sense of purpose. And then all day I was just feeling that like, yes, you know, we are, we are doing important work. This is all like our, this is why our higher selves allow us to experience trauma and pain and fear. Um, because our higher self knows that this is all for something very important. Right. And that at least makes me feel better when I'm sitting around going like, why, <laughs> right? When you have those feelings of why, it, it's, it helps. It helps if we can tune into the higher purpose. And I know from experience, you know, if you ask to learn about the purpose that is relevant for you, then, you know, you will figure it out. You will eventually be shown it. You will receive the information. And there's one other tangential thing I wanted to mention is that in the dream, I wasn't alone. It was me and my dad. My dad was with me in the dream, which is, which was like, you know, that's adorable, right? Um, and I mean, apart from the fact that like my dad is, he's like a gift, like he's a blessing. He's a blessing in my life from the universe. Like, <laughs> no, never like had any complaints about my dad. He's basically like been a perfect father to me, right? And. I know that that is so much of a blessing because I know that many people watching this have not had that experience. Like you could have had the exact opposite experience, right? Um, but in the dream, I, I, I knew that since, you know, since my dad was with me, uh, that like really helped me cope with the horror. Like I'd walk into the room and we kind of look at each other and go like, here we go again. We're going, we're going into the, into the like pain machine. Right. Um, and I was like, it's okay. You know, my, my, my dad's here. He's with me. It's going to be okay. He thinks this is okay. He's got it. And I'm good. Right. <laughs> Just like when I was a kid, basically, I always thought, uh, I always felt safe as long as my dad was with me, as, as long as he was home or as long as I was in the car with him, whatever, <laughs> didn't, didn't matter what was going on. I felt safe because my dad was there. And uh, I mean, same thing now, even as an adult. <laughs> um, the point about this is, that, of course, my dad was there in the dream representing divine masculine energy, right? And so as we are all facing our fears and working through pain and trauma and horror and terror and all of it, the divine masculine is here to help. Um, and I feel like at least many of the people that I know who have suffered the most in this life have a really, um, like their relationship with the divine masculine has been really damaged and, you know, and that it's like, it goes hand in hand, right? It goes hand in hand because I mean, it's your solar plexus energy that helps you face your fears, right? <laughs> without, without your divine masculine, without your solar plexus energy, then you're kind of, there's nothing to, protect you, right? There's nothing to protect you. And, um, so if, if you know that, you know, your solar plexus or your relationship to the divine masculine, um, is not optimal, um, and you're working on facing your fears, I think there's just a big invitation to find a divine masculine frequency that you can feel safe connecting with, right? Um, you know, it could be a literal human, male or female, right? You can get divine masculine energy from any human. You can get it inside of yourself. Um, for a lot of you, it might, um, if, if you like really struggle with this, right? If, um, if you know that this is like your, your problem, <laughs> um, go up into like the, like the ascended master level of the universe and the archangels and connect to, you know, a masculine divine, uh, a masculine, this ascended master or archangel, um, most of whom I would say exist in a balanced state of masculine and feminine, but you can tune into their masculine energy and, um, 
start to kind of heal your relationship with the divine masculine masculine on that level and that will help it filter down into your human life into your interpersonal relationships and into your chakras and all of it so you you know for your um yeah starting at the top and bringing it down can help because yeah when when you're really in that <laughs> When you're, when you're in the nightmare and you walk into the room and you're like, here I go, I'm going to be in the, the nightmare machine again. Um, I don't know of anything that, that's going to help you more than a divine masculine energy that you feel complete trust in and can feel completely safe with. So just want to toss that out there. I think that's it. <laughs> so I love you guys. Talk to you later. Bye.